Hey guys, how you doing? Um, it's John from Creative Tap, and I've got another tutorial for you today. Um, what we're going to be doing is making scale and um, the brightness of an image um, react to audio. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean by that. So let me just play this little preview. Okay, so um, you may be able to see that obviously the scale was animating here and there is a little bit, if you look, um, there's a little bit of a sort of brightness flicker in, in these reds, not too much because I didn't want to overdo it. Um, let's pause that, yeah, not too much of the brightness because I didn't want to overdo it, um, but we're going to be having a look at how we do this today with no plugins whatsoever. Okay, so let's make a start. I'm going to go into After Effects and go Composition and New Composition. Let's just make this... Um, I'll make it 4 minutes 24, I'm not sure how long the uh, sound clip is, so let's just click OK. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to bring in my background image, so just either go File, Import File, or I just dragged it from a screen on the left, which you can't see, you can only see this screen. Um, I'm going to drag this image now down to here, let's rename it BG, okay, so that's probably going to be too big, um, so we'll just scale this down, something like that. I do want to leave a little bit overlapping on the sides because I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna have it kind of move in with a little, very, very subtle cam shake. Okay, um, so let's go and do that cam shape. Um, if you hit P and then Alt or Option key, I guess on the Mac, click the stopwatch. So Alt click the stopwatch, and I'm gonna type in wiggle, open parentheses, one comma ten, close parentheses. Or brackets if you're in the UK. Um, okay, so now if I give this a little play, there's no sound in there, but you'll see there's a very, very, very subtle kind of movement on there, and that's uh, there's a, there's a channel on YouTube I watch called Selected. It's um, like a kind of music, dance, drum and bass kind of stuff. Um, so if if they, they they're kind of using this kind of thing, um, obviously that's really really fast because this is just 15 seconds, but playing it is it's just quite a subtle kind of movement okay so um, that's that done what I do want to do is start sort of colorizing the background so I'm gonna go new so right click down here new solid and I'm gonna go for a dark red solid something like this okay and click OK um, if I turn this now to color the blending mode uh, you'll see it overlaps so um, I may want to come into the solid settings and make it a little touch darker and it just sort of tints the background. You can do any color you want, but I'm going to go with this one. I'm also going to go onto my BG layer and just get a levels and I'm just going to kind of crunch them just a little bit. Um, so get levels. Here we go. Um, drag this onto my background. I'm going to come to the opacity of this um, dark red solid, bring it to about 75, just knock it back a little bit. Um, let's rename this color overlay. Okay, so BG, we've got this levels on there. Um, just have a little play around just to bring a little bit of sort of contrast back into there. Um, the input white, I think I'll knock that back a little bit. Something along the lines of that I guess you, you can play around all day I'm not gonna play around with the look of it too much because I want to show you the technique of making our text react okay so um, next thing I'm gonna do is import my audio so you can go file import or I'm just dragging in from the screen next to me like I said bring this down and let's, let's zoom in here so we've just got like you know 10 seconds showing so this is my clip okay um, might be able to hear it. I've got it from a website called bensound.com. Um, I used that, his stuff in some of my other tutorials. Royalty free, it's really good. Um, so the next thing I want to do is convert the audio here to keyframes. If I right click this and go keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes, we've got a new layer analyzing audio and it's given us a new layer called audio amplitude. Okay, if you hit U, you've got keyframes for the left channel the right channel you know some some songs um have stuff coming out in different channels you know like the left earphone and right earphone i'm actually going to delete it okay so delete 
delete those two and we're just going to use both channels. So just to really quickly explain what this what this has done is it's taken this waveform here and if we click this value slider and then go to um, graph editor it's basically converted this into um, all these keyframes so if you zoom in you can kind of see what's going on and it's based it on the volume so the higher the volume the more units it, it's given us okay so that's a little bit of a kick there with the piano keys so um, that's what it's going to be using okay now if we come out of the graph editor these are all keyframes for uh, I think every frame yeah um, so the next bit is let's collapse this we're going to add our text so I'm going to get my text tool and I'm going to type in um, audio react uh, may as well put the channel name creative tap okay um, let's go to paragraph and center align both of these okay now let's drag it into the middle or we can go to a line actually make sure that's in the very middle cool now um, I may just come to character and increase it and then increase the space in between them something like that and now just make sure that they are definitely aligned so a tiny bit out there you go okay so I've got my text in there now the next thing I need to do is link the scale okay so if I hit S I've got um, this uh, stopwatch if I alt click this I've now got access to this um, this pick whip okay so if I grab this pick whip and link it to the slider value here well let's have a look and see what that's done okay so it's not great so what it's doing it's using this val um, so if we come into here it's using where are they these values and mapping them to the scale comes 0 to 100 and it's basically remapping these 0 to 100 so what we need to do in this little expression is actually plus 100 for the X and Y it's very very simple you just click in here okay and all you're gonna need to type and I'll put it in the description below so you can literally copy and paste it uh, plus open square brackets 100 comma 100 and close square brackets okay so what what what's doing is whatever kind of uh, scale this whole expression gives you it's going to plus 100 onto the X and the Y because by default your scale comes in at 100 so it's almost back to what it was but now it's going to plus that kind of that sort of jumpy audio react value on top of it when it's scaled 100 by 100 okay so if we play it now uh, mine's going quite slow okay so you can see now it's working a hell of a lot better Okay, now I'll put this little addition in the actual description below so you can use that. Now, the last thing I want to do is um, I want to do it to the brightness as well. Um, so if I come to the BG, to BG, I'll put a brightness and contrast on here. So um, there's already a levels in there where we did some adjustments. I'll put the brightness and contrast. If I alt-click the brightness, we can see it opens up down here. I'm going to pick whip this again to um, the slider and I'm not going to do any alterations to it um, but you should be able to see if I preview in the first three seconds you should be able to see a slight sort of differ right let's let it preview in sounds really weird should be able to see a slight differ in the brightness of contrast I don't tend to push this much but you can see it especially if you look down here Okay, so obviously that, now now it's a linked expression, um, that'll happen for the whole duration of the song. So, um, yeah, you'll have keyframes for the whole song. Actually, you've got extra ones. I guess that's where it's not finding any. So you can do it for, how long is it? About three, three minutes? Yeah. Awesome. Well, um, cheers for tuning in. We've got another tutorial where I show you how to make an audio visualizer. I'll leave, make sure I put a link to that in the description and the comments below. Um, check them out. Give us a like, uh, rate, subscribe. Leave us a comment saying what you want to see next. 
Um, yeah, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and hopefully see you in another tutorial. Cheers.